Okay, so let's do an example of some math with Prolog. Now, Prolog doesn't do a very good job with math in general, but there are a couple simple things that we can do. So I'm going to write an average temp rule that's going to have arity 2. And let's copy those rules in. So you can see here I have an average temperature in some different cities, and then we have these temperatures. And we're going to assume that these are Fahrenheit. Um, although I'm pretty sure sometimes Phoenix gets up to 80 Celsius. And we want to, let's say that for some reason we need the Celsius temperature. So we have Fahrenheit, and we want to convert the Fahrenheit temp to a Celsius temperature. So we're going to use that rule above to calculate the average temperature in Celsius. We're going to have a city. And the actual names of the variables don't matter, but I like to give them names that, that help me understand what they're for. So I'll have the city and the C temp. And remember, a variable is anything that starts with a capital. Now this is the head of the rule, and the body, we'll put the body below. So we need to get the, temp, the average temp for that city, so we're going to use our average temp fact that we have above, and we're going to get the city. Notice. This city is the same variable as this, so it'll match that city, and then it'll get the, temper, the temperature in Fahrenheit. Then, to calculate the temperature in Celsius, which is this variable, we're going to use is, and we're going to say, so that says the Celsius temperature is and it's going to be the Fahrenheit temp minus 32 degrees times 5 divided by 9. So that's the conversion between the Celsius temp and the Fahrenheit temp. And I'm going to round that so we have a, function, a round function. And I need parentheses there for order of operations. And that looks good. So I'll put a period to end the rule. So let's save that. And then we'll consult our file. So the average temp Celsius in Phoenix is 27. So that seems a lot nicer. What about the average temp Celsius? in New York City. Now, first off, it looks like I misspelled something. Ah, no, I gave it the wrong arity. So you'll notice it says, I don't have a procedure for Celsius 1, but there is one area D2. So I forgot to give it a value. And it says false. So now the rule worked, but it returned a false result because it wasn't able to find an average temp Celsius in New York City. And the reason for that is, is average temp Celsius depends on this fact, but I don't have a New York City fact in any of these facts. So that doesn't mean that New York City doesn't have an average temperature Celsius. It means that pr the Prolog database doesn't have any information, so it can't do anything additional. So I could also make both of these variables and I can keep asking it for more results and eventually it'll give me the average temperature Celsius in every city that it knows about. We can also do comparisons. So I can write a rule called play outside and the cities where you can play outside will be we'll say where the average temp the 
the average temp Celsius in that city is less than 15. So here I'm saying, go get this rule to get the average temperature Celsius, and then check to see that that's worth, that that's less than 15. I can also write a fact to compare two cities to see which one is colder. So city one is colder than city two if the average temp in city one, which will be temp one, and the average temp in city two and we'll call that temp two, I'm missing commas. Once I get those temperatures, temp one needs to be less than temp two. So this rule is getting the information about city one, the information about city two, and then comparing the two temperatures that it gets. So let's save this. And let's consult. And we can say, uh, is Boston colder than Phoenix? That's true. Is Phoenix colder than Paris? That's false. Okay, so let's ask, what cities are colder than Paris? Berlin. Belgrade, Chicago, Boston. So again, when I put that variable there, it gives me all the results for that variable that make the, the query true. If you want to check equality of a value or a term in Prolog, use the same variable name. So And we'll say average temp. Actually, we can just take this right here. To get our two temperatures. And then instead of using two variables, we're going to say they have to have the same variable, meaning once it gets this average temperature, it'll only check cities that have the same temperature. So we're not actually getting the two temperatures and checking if they're equal. We're only considering cities here that have that original temperature. That's much more efficient than going through the database, finding something and comparing if it's true. So never do inequality, never say value one is value two or value one equals value two. You always want to just use the same variable name because then the equality check is part of the search it does for additional values. Now this isn't quite right because every city has the same temperature as itself. So we can tell Prolog not to unify the two city names. Now this doesn't exactly mean that they're not equal. This says whatever this city is has to be different from this city. The, the values have to be different. And so this is nice to exclude answers that might be redundant. I mean, obviously we know every city has the same average temperature as itself. So let's save this and consult. So what city has the same temperature? Paris and Johannesburg, also Johannesburg and Paris. And the reason you we got it gave me two of the same answers is because when city one was Paris, it found Johannesburg here. And when city one was Johannesburg, when it kept looking for more solutions, it found Paris had the same temperature. One other thing to be aware of, if I say same temp X, X, that's false. Because this can never be true due to this. So we're saying whatever X is, you, you, it can't be the city too. 
but then this query says I want them to be the same city. So you can also do this in the query if you want something to have the same value, you can use that same variable. In Prolog, variables have single statement scope. However, once you have that variable, every time it appears in that statement, it has to hold the same value for the statement to be true.